I've had my website, ethanweiner.com, since 1997, uh, and that's at this point now more than 20 years. And I used to have an email address, ethan at ethanweiner.com, and eventually that got so much spam. I was getting, you know, two, three, four hundred a day. Uh, I changed my email to ethanw at ethanweiner.com, and of course that's you know, a huge nuisance to do that. You have to tell everybody. Uh, I'm not going to change it again, but I still get a lot of spam. When I turn on my computer first thing in the morning, uh, I have at least 100 spams, and I get probably another 50, 100 during the day. What most people do is they start their email client and get the email and then delete all the spam, and maybe their client program has a spam filter in it. I don't even want that stuff coming into my computer. There's viruses, there's phishing, there's all kinds of nonsense, uh, and I don't even want it. So what I would do is I would go online to my uh, email on the server, a webmail access, and that's what's showing here. And you can see this is today's email. This is a weekend, so I don't have quite as much as usual. But here, this is valid. All the rest of this is uh, is is nonsense. Here's a phishing attempt. Somebody wants me to thinks they have my password and business investment reverse diabetes. Oh, this is all spam. Congratulations, congratulations. Yeah, uh, and I would go through these one by one, clicking this, clicking this, clicking this, clicking this. The first 10, 15 minutes of every day, I would have to sit there and do that. And I have two accounts. This is ethanweiner.com. I also have my Real Traps account for the acoustics business. Uh, and then I would have to do the same thing there. Uh, several years ago, I found a fantastic program called MailWasher. And what this does is this goes out to the server, gets all your email, not only for ethanweiner.com, but it also does it for Real Traps. Here's Ethan Weiner, here's Real Traps, Ethan Weiner, and it gets them both. Uh, and it'll do more. It'll get your Gmail email. Uh, it'll go out to any server and for as number of accounts you want. All the stuff in red is this is, it knows it's spam. This is absolutely spam. It's almost never wrong. Uh, it's never wrong. Sometimes it will uh, err on the side of uh, safety. Uh, this email here is spam. I need help. And you know, one good tip off for me is spam is, uh, is when it's I get the same exact email to you know my Ethan Weiner account and my Real Traps account. So whenever I see pairs of them like this, both emails are on the same lists all over the place. So that's a good tip. So I just have to click this here. That's spam. That's spam. But almost all of this stuff is automatically marked. And it's just so easy to see it this way. Uh, free lottery. These are all the Ethan Weiner. You know, so click, click. You can even use shift click. If you get like 20 of them in a row, just uh, use shift click. Uh, American Express is real. Mike Roderick's is my friend. Uh, this is a PayPal. And also I've set up flags here. When I sell a book or I sell a DVD or I sell consulting, uh, if somebody is a friend that lights up in yellow. Uh, so there's uh, tip-offs here. Uh, this is a farm I belong to. This is uh, if somebody puts the word query into their email, uh, and I tell them to do that, uh, then that automatically gets through and is marked as good and has a little query thing here. So this is this is mail washer, and this is literally life-changing for me. Now, I've had to make this window a little small just to get it into a video that would show clearly when not in full screen. But if I pull this up, this is the other part, and, uh, and this actually shows the email you're looking at. Hey, congratulations, your email just won. This is a forum that I'm part of. But... I've, I've split this up. Normally this goes down, you know, it's just like the top two thirds of the screen. So I have both views on the screen. It's, you know, it's more like that. You know, I can also read the, uh, the email uh, as I go through. So this is an extremely powerful program. And I mentioned that I set up uh, to flag if it's a friend that lights it up. It just immediately I know I don't, this isn't possibly spam. I don't have to look at it. I don't have to read it. They don't have to look at the subject. So once this all is done here, let me show you this. So let's mark the rest of this here. So this is spam, obviously. Sluggish brain, okay, that's spam. Uh, uh, this guy is the query, so that's real. Uh, American Express reminding me of my payment. My friend Mike, uh, this is real. Attention, sir or madam, you know. <laughs> we don't have to look at that. All right, and then once you've done that, you click wash the mail. And it just deletes everything here. You can see it around here. It's showing what it's deleting. And by the way, this program is set to just automatically start uh, every day with my computer. When I turn on my computer, get downstairs and make coffee, when I come back, this program is there running. Everything is already marked. This is set to check the mail every five minutes, but you can manually check it. You can change how often. The recycle bin shows all the stuff I've deleted. Here, let me make this big again. Uh, and this is all the stuff. Now, some of these are sp spam filters I've set up. Anything that has the word pharmacy in there and... Uh, uh, 
Uh, th there's also blacklists. There's people I asked to be taken off their this Toyota dealer off their mailing list like six, six times, and finally I just put them on a blacklist. Never deal with it. This automatically goes into the recycle bin. Uh, it doesn't get deleted. I can always see it. If somebody says, hey, I emailed you yesterday, you never answered, I can go in here. You can search. You can put in part of somebody's name, you know, Smith, and, you know, it'll show you if there's any emails from that person. Uh, and then there's the settings here. Uh, and this is very, very detailed, and it's really easy to set up. Uh, when to check mail here, check it every five minutes. Don't check it between these hours. You know, check the default accounts, uh, notifications. You know, and I, I don't need to show you all this. I just wanted to just make a kind of brief video showing how powerful this is, how nicely laid out it is, and how useful it is to me. Because I can now deal with spam in like a minute, you know, you know, two minutes. I mean, depends on the day. But you saw how quickly it was to go through. Almost everything is already marked. The recycle bin can store stuff for a really long time. I have it set for 30 days. And uh, the spam tools, you can set up your own. Uh, well, you have white lists and black lists. This is a friends list uh, by uh, website. You can do it by domain where it's got the star in front or the actual person. And it's easy to set that up. If somebody's a friend, if I want to make these a friend, you just right click and say, add them to the friends list, add the domain to the friends list. So anybody from that whole domain will be there, add it to the black list. And so this is really a powerful program. And uh, as I say, life-changing for me. I just can't imagine uh, having to deal with spam manually ever again. And, and this is really cheap. I honestly don't remember what I paid at the time, you know, $30, 40 something like that. And this is absolutely worthwhile. I bought the lifetime license, so I get all the updates automatically. You never have to deal with it again. So I hope this was useful to other people, and thanks a lot.